Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, it's all in the bag. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and spend a portion of your day with me. And a big thank you to everyone who is supporting my channel in any positive way. Thank you guys so very much. Because I know that most of us are very busy getting ready for the holidays or getting ready for the new year. I am not going to take up much of your time today because this is what we're going to be making. It is going to be the simplest bag. We're going to use the technique of making our own paper to get the look that we want. But this is a great last minute gift bag it's also a great Secret Santa bag, and it does become in any season, any reason, and any gender bag. Yes, we can give a bag like this to the men in our lives. So simple to make, and it's just one of those all-purpose bags that will hold so many different things. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, guys, so here is a closer look at today's sweet little project. It is so adorable, and we are going to use the technique of creating our own paper to get this look because we're going to be working with wrapping paper. When finished, our bag is going to be six by three by five. And the reason why I like bringing projects like this to you guys is because we can take this and transfer it to any season that we want and it's so economical to do because with wrapping paper, you know, the sky is the limit. So here is what we're going to need to make it. I am going to be using one piece of the 11 by 14 inch poster board that I get from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you don't have poster board, you can join two pieces together to create your 11 by 14 inch piece. And then I'm going to be using this red and white polka dotted wrapping paper. Now this wrapping paper came in a trio set with this and there was one more pattern in the set. So you had this beautiful whimsical combination of red and white and stripes, polka dots and plaids making for a beautiful combination if you wanted to create a gift set with these. So basically what I've done is I have cut out enough wrapping paper to be able to cover that poster board. So if you use a piece of wrapping paper that is 15 by 12, that is going to cover your poster board. Now I have applied adhesive to the back of this using my Xyron Creatopia because that will apply adhesive to pieces that are up to 12 inches wide. The Xyron Creatopia is no longer sold on the market. However, from time to time, you can find them available on eBay and on Craigslist. The refill cartridges are always sold on Amazon, so I haven't found a time when I haven't been able to get a replacement cartridge. So if you don't have a machine that will apply adhesive to the back of your paper, you can do it by applying strips of tape from top to bottom. You can also do it by using a spray adhesive. Just make sure that if you're spraying the adhesive, they spray outdoors because you don't want to inhale those toxic fumes. I would not use glue on this because this is a very large piece and your glue might cause some warping. So I'm going to flip this over, remove that backer sheet, and hopefully you guys can see that sticky is on there. I'll take this and I'm just going to place it down. And then I'm going to use my big old spatula to make sure I get everything nice and stuck and to iron out any air bubbles that might be there. So now I'll take my finger blade and I'm just going to remove the excess wrapping paper. So now I have my own beautiful 11 by 14 inch piece I can work with. If I wanted to, I could actually run this back through the Xyron and put the polka dots on the inside as well. 
but I'm okay with the inside of this bag being white. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and we're going to score and at five and a half. Then we're going to rotate it to the opposite end and we're going to score at half an inch and at five and a half. Then we're going to rotate it to the 11 inch side. We're going to score at two and a half as far as we can go. Then I'm just going to flip it score at two and a half to meet that original two and a half inch score. Then I'll rotate it this way to the opposite 11 inch side, score at two and a half, and then I'll flip it again, score at two and a half to meet that original two and a half inch score. So now we can just fold and burnish our scores. So once you have all of your scores folded and burnished, on both ends you're going to have the half inch flap. We are going to go to the score mark and we're just going to angle a little bit on both of these. So we did it here, we're going to rotate it and we're going to do it here. This is just going to help make it easy for us to fold over this little decorative lip here at the top. So now let's go to this middle section and we're going to free these tabs. So I am going to go up to the score mark and drag down. Go up to the score mark and drag down. Rotate it to this side. Go up to the score mark, drag down. Same thing here. So now on one side, I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove about half an inch. I'll remove it there. And then I am just going to remove it over here. And all I'm doing is taking away some of the extra bulk from where we're going to do the fold over. So now I'm going to bring in my tape. We're going to place tape on the half inch strip. And we'll do that on both ends. Then on the end where you have the widest panel, we're going to take tape and place it on the inside. And I'm just using a half inch strip of tape now, I don't expect this bag to carry much weight, so I am not using glue. If I was going to be putting something heavy in it, I would use glue on this. But for this type of a bag, I'm probably just going to tuck in some goodies. You can put those fuzzy socks in here if you want, but I would probably fill this with some homemade fudge or caramel squares, something like that. So now we're going to flip it over, and this time we're going to place our tape on the outside edge. And I'll do that over here as well. And now we can take tape and place it on this middle tab. And I'll use my bone folder to make sure that all of my tape is nice and stuck. And now we can go ahead and put our bag together. So I am going to remove the tape backer from the end where I trim down the side panels. And we're just going to go ahead and fold those over. And then I'll go back 
and get these nice and stuck. And so now I'll peel away the backer strip from my middle tab here. And then I'm going to take this piece and we're just going to join it right there at the bottom. I'll do the same thing on this side. It's just easier when you're putting a bag or a box like this together that you do the same side before moving over. It just makes it easier for you to get your hands in there. So I have joined this side. So now we can remove our tape from these two pieces here. And this time when I'm joining it, I want to make sure that I'm joining it so that the tops match. And then I'll stick that down. And I have just a little bit of overhang there at the bottom. Don't know if you can see it, easy to fix. I'm just going to trim it away. And now I'll do the same thing on this side, peeled away those tape backers. When I put this together, I am going to make sure that I have my tops matching. And by tops matching, I mean the score mark here is aligned here. So now I'm going to peel away the tape backer from this piece and I'll fold it in, peel away the backer from this long piece, fold it in, and peel away the backer from this piece, fold it in. And I'll use my big old spatula to make sure I have everything nice and stuck. And there we have our sweet little bag. And all we need to do at this point, I am just going to take my finger and start my pinch point happening because I am going through some thick poster board and I want to make sure I have it pinching in properly. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to take my other fingers and run it down the side just to kind of get that paper ready to be folded in and then I'll pinch, squeeze at the top, and then you're able to squeeze down as far as you want to go. And there is our beautiful little bag. I am going to take my two inch oval punch, and guys, I believe I bought this punch at Tuesday morning a while back, but it's just a two inch oval. And I am going to punch my hole, and I'll try to line it up on this side and punch. And so now I have my holes punched in my beautiful red polka dotted bag. And so now it's just a matter of how do I want to dress this bag? And I think I'm going to use some of my Anna Griffin holiday stickers that came in her holiday Christmas box. She does one every year. And I'm going to place that right there then it also contains some holly. I'm going to take the holly and I'm going to place my holly like this. Now this might not be the standard direction for holly, but it is going to work for me on this project. And then finally, I'm going to go to my little sticker book and find a sweet little sticker that I can use. And I like this one that says Merry Christmas. So I'm going to take it and tuck it in just like that. And I think that is such a festive bag. So there we have another beautiful little bag. Let's say you have those last minute guests to come over or someone brings a guest with them that you weren't expecting. Run back to your craft room real quick and whip up a bag as simple as this one and then tuck a little something inside. My mom always expected us to bring someone to either Thanksgiving or Christmas. And so she always made sure she had something extra so that that person would not feel left out. And it's just one of those things that's always stuck with me. So this is a great way to have something at the ready for those unexpected guests. So I have brought the first one back in and don't they make a beautiful, beautiful pair. So I hope that this video has inspired a few of you. If it has, please hit that like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, 
I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.